All right. Hey, have you ever thought about moving when you retire to save some extra money? Well, if you have, this video is for you because I'm going to go into details of why you should consider moving when you retire. It's all about maximizing your income, so you don't want to miss this. So let's go ahead and uh, jump into this. So why should you consider moving when you retire? So when you retire, you're no longer employed. You are now taking an income from your 401k, your pension, social security, and whatever you've accumulated during your working years. And you're on a limited fixed income. And it's important that you protect what you have and to try and maximize your income. So let me share with you here why you should consider moving, especially if you're in, your, in one of the expensive states, like what I am, California, uh, why it makes a lot of financial sense uh, to move to maximize your retirement income. So let's go ahead and jump into this. So you can see here on my screen uh, the major expenses uh, that you have. You have to consider the home price if you're a homeowner. If you plan to rent, uh, you have to consider that. You also have to consider property tax if you're buying a home. Uh, sales tax, yeah, take that into consideration, but um, once I share the numbers, you can see it's really not that big of a deal. You shouldn't take that into a deciding factor. State income tax is definitely something you wanted to consider. Electric rates, utility rates, yes, you absolutely want to consider and car registration. So let's go ahead and jump into it. Now, I'm comparing someone that has about $100,000 in retirement income, all right? And I'm gonna compare California and Tennessee. This happens to be, I happen to be in California and we are actually considering moving to Tennessee. So I've done some of the research. We're also looking at possibly Florida, uh, things like that. And so I'm very familiar with a lot of the numbers in many of the states. And by the way, before, we go any further, make sure to hit that like and subscribe because the next video that I have to follow up with this is the best and the worst places to retire to, okay? So you don't wanna miss that video. And again, when I look at everything, certainly you want it to have a place that is fun, that is gonna meet your lifestyle, but I'm looking at it, how do you maximize your retirement income? That's what it's about because when you have more income uh, to spend, you're going to retire happy. You're going to enjoy life, and that's what it's about. So I'm approaching it from that angle, okay? So let's go ahead and jump into this. Take a look at this, guys. Uh, so median home price. I'm here in California. The median home price in California is $743,000, all right? That is absolutely off the charts. Now, you compare that with Tennessee of $311,000, now, this gives you a lot of options. If you're in California, you can certainly sell your home like many people are doing, and they're relocating to other states like Texas, Arizona. Uh, Tennessee is a popular state. Florida is a popular state. Idaho is another popular state for uh, Californians. But anyways, take a look at this. Now, here's what's important. The annual spend, what you're going to spend on a mortgage here in California, if you have a mortgage, if you're one of the fortunate few who have actually paid their home off in California, congratulations, that is awesome. Uh, but for those that may have a continued mortgage, you're gonna be spending about $61,000 a year uh, in mortgage expense. Maybe it's 50 to 60, maybe a little higher, depending on your home price, right? Uh, in Tennessee, your annual spend on a mortgage is $23,000. So now, if you're able to leave California, sell your home, and you have a lot of equity, you might be able to pay cash for a home or put even a larger down payment to bring that down where it's even smaller. So obviously, you've probably thought about this before. This is nothing new uh, on the home price. But some of the other details that I want to share with you that and speaking with clients that they overlook is when we get down to the property tax and state income tax, things such as that. Now, if you look here at the average rent, if you're one of those that doesn't own a home, but yet you want to relocate, makes a lot of sense. The average rent here in California is $2,700 a month. You compare that to Tennessee at $1,100 a month. So you can see your annual spend on just housing. You can see the difference there. $33,000 a year in California compared to just under 14,000 in states like Tennessee or Florida or Texas, okay? Now, 
If you're a homeowner and you're planning to buy, a lot of people say, yeah, but those other states have high property tax. Well, not all states. I know Texas does, okay? Their property tax is higher. But again, let's just compare this to Tennessee for a moment. The average property tax uh, is about 1.25% in California. Now, some of the newer areas in California have what they call a Melarus tax that could literally bring it to 2% or higher. And so it is off the charts. I'll never forget uh, about five years ago when we we're just browsing around looking at homes. This is a new home development here in Orange County. Uh, the property price is a million dollars. Between the taxes and the Melrose, it was nearly $40,000 a year just between taxes and Melrose. All right, it is off the charts crazy. Uh, and that's what you're gonna see. Anyways. Uh, you can see what you're going to be spending on property tax and you compare that again to another state. This is why doing your research is important where Tennessee is uh, just a little over a half percent. And your property value, right, the taxable property value is less compared to California. So you have a pretty significant savings there. Let's take a look at sales tax because I've had a lot of people say, yeah, but those other states that don't have state income tax, they have high sales tax. Yes, their sales tax is higher. It's actually the way it should be, in my opinion, okay? Uh, because those that are buying more of the goods, uh, they're going to pay more taxes. But when you take a look at it, let's say if the average person, you spend $6,000 in goods, this is in addition to groceries, right, which is about $500 a month. Uh, here in California, average at 8%. Some counties, it might be a little higher, like 8.5% uh, or 8.75%. But uh, based on 8%, you spend about $480 uh, in sales tax if you're spending $6,000 a year. Now, let's compare that with Tennessee, which everybody says, oh, they have really high sales tax. Yeah, it's 9.25%. Some counties, it might be a little higher. But look at that. For the same amount of $6,000 you're going to buy, you're going to spend $555. So you're going to spend an extra $75 to $100 throughout the course of the year on sales tax. So in my opinion... Uh, considering sales tax, basing your move on sales tax, it, it really, you don't even need to figure that into your calculation. It's insignificant, okay? Uh, state income tax, you absolutely want to consider. Uh, the average sales tax, or I'm sorry, the average income tax here in California is about 8%. Now, depending on your income, uh, could be higher, could be lower, but again, I'm basing it on $100,000 uh, in uh, taxable income. Uh, and so you're about 8 percent that's eight thousand dollars a year that you're going to spend in taxes uh and if you come over here to tennessee you're looking at zero percent no tech no state income tax huge savings now let's take a look at, at electric rates all right now i base this on 800 kilowatts uh that's what i use in my home here and we don't have a huge home it's just an average you know four bedroom home here in Southern California, a uh, couple thousand square feet, okay? And uh, our usage is actually almost half of what it was uh, two years ago. So it's dropped, all right? And part of the reason it's dropped, we've been a lot more energy uh, conscious because the rates have gone through the roof. Now, I plugged in 32 cents to try and use an average throughout California. If you run the research and you do the research, because I did, uh, you're going to see where California is about 30 cents a kilowatt hour. Um, the average uh, U.S. Um, electric rates is about 15.8 cents per kilowatt hour. So when you look at your electric bill, look at your usage, kilowatt hour usage, right? Uh, and I'm gonna share this with you because this number is actually higher. I happen to have Southern California Edison. Our rates are much higher, and I'm gonna share that with you here in a moment. Um, but anyways, using the averages here, you're gonna spend about $3,400 a year on electric versus Tennessee, about 1100 Now, let's take a look at car registration. Uh, on average, you're about 1.2% of the vehicle value. There's some additional just uh, BS fees that they plug in. It's loaded with all kinds of fees in California. Um, so you're gonna spend about 480 based on a $40,000 car, all right? If your car's more expensive, you're gonna spend more. Um, so 
compare that with Tennessee, it's $29 per year. So when you add up the total annual living expenses here in California, the same $100,000 income that you have that you're not going to necessarily get a raise and you're on a limited fixed income because now you're retired, this is how you maximize your money. Uh, oop, is Look at this, you're looking at $55,000 to $83,000 is, is what you're gonna need to, to survive. It doesn't leave you with a whole lot of extra uh, for other things. Now, I haven't even included in here uh, Medicare. When you go to retire, you're gonna have Medicare, all right, and that will um, be a different rate based on uh, the states. I didn't even include that, I just wanted you to focus on this part here. Uh, now, in Tennessee, you're $17,000 to $27,000 and, and total um, you know uh, expenditures so you can see makes a huge difference your money is going to go a lot further which is why you should consider moving to a state that is much more financially friendly uh, for retirees now I want to share with you because it's a thorn in my side and that is the utility rates uh, in California and these other states Hawaii has ice uh, utility rates. I know New York, uh, New England, that whole area has high utility rates as well. Uh, but let's take a look at this. So um, I just downloaded this. This is recently. This is a snapshot of my electric bill. You can see I used uh, 800 kilowatts. Um, and here we are in July. We're not running our air a lot, but you can see off peak, I've 684 kilowatts. I'm at 36 cents a kilowatt hour. Now, just to give you an idea, I'm going to calculate this here. That same uh, wattage there, that kilowatts, the 684 times 11 cents, $75. Okay, so here, 684 kilowatts, 36 cents. You can see it's $248 is what I was charged. That same uh, kilowatt usage would be $75 at 11 cents, all right, in Tennessee. Uh, if we want to base it on 15 cents, what is that? 684 times 0.15 is 10260. So 100 bucks. I saved myself 150 bucks. What can you do for 150 dollars extra that you're putting into your pocket? Uh, well, how about uh, you know this will add up throughout uh, the year, uh, vacation, travel, going out to eat, doing things that uh, you can actually enjoy instead of just spending money to the electric company. But you can see here that this is the off peak. Now look at the mid peak. When we uh, you know get above this range here, it's 47 cents. And then on peak, which is 3 p.m. to 9 p.m. Uh, is 58 cents a kilowatt hour. That is off the charts. So this is why it is important that you really consider uh, moving to a state that is much more financially friendly. Um, so there you go. I hope this is uh, valuable for you. Again, make sure to hit that like and subscribe button. That way you're notified each time I come out with a video. And the next video that I'm gonna be coming out with is the best and the worst places to live. So you wanna make sure you check that video out uh, because I'm all about helping you, teaching you how to position yourself to retire happy and put more money in your pocket and less money going to the utility companies, taxes, and everybody else is trying to get their long arm into your short pocket. So anyways, have an awesome day. Retire happy.